Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about the Jewish Cemetery at Newport, written by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Now, before I go into this topic, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. So, the Jewish Cemetery at Newport, very uh, interesting poem, um, you know, Longfellow here. Um, he's definitely looking at uh, this Jewish cemetery um, at Newport. Uh, it's by the ocean. There's some trees providing some shade uh, for the cemetery. Um, it's a bunch of, um, it's all, it's a Jewish cemetery. So it's all Jewish people. Um, and um, the, the grave is quiet, but the sea is loud and it's moving. It's, it's brave. It's tough. It's a loud sea. And um, it's a very interesting poem because here, you know, Longfellow is saying that, you know, if you think about the Jewish people, they're a very re resilient bunch, all right? Um, think about the exodus from Egypt. Think about, the you know, Babylon. Think about, you know, all these, you know, empires and countries and things that have um, taken over um, and uh, oppressed, abused, killed. Uh, the Jewish people. Think about Adolf Hitler. Think about the exodus from Egypt. Think about Assyria. Think about Babylon. Think about Persia. Think about the Romans. Um, you know, over and over again. It's not just that. There's also all types of groups and people that are against Jewish people. Um, you know, anybody that's like, you know, part of the Aryan Brotherhood and elimination of Jewish people, they're all against uh, Jewish people. And, and that's another thing for me uh, that for me um, helps me um, to believe uh, in God. Because when you look at the treatment of Jewish people, um, throughout the centuries, they're, they're a small group of people in the grand scheme of things, you know, but throughout their entire existence, there's always been some type of group persecuting them, trying to kill them, trying to exterminate them, trying to enslave them, trying to keep them down. And by some way or another, God always keeps them up. Um, so in terms of religion here, uh, whether you're Christian or not, this poem has a lot of religious ideas, symbolisms, um, you know, at its core, because this is what, you know, Longfellow is talking about here. These people are resilient um, these people, uh, they don't die, uh, no matter what happens to them, there's always a remnant. So Longfellow is definitely looking at the Jewish religion, looking at the Jewish people. Um, you know, there is a difference between the religion of Judaism and, and being Jewish. All right. Uh, but, but, but you, there is definitely a lot to look in, in here in terms of, how does this keep happening? Is this God that's protecting the Jewish people? Um, how come they keep escaping these dominant forces of uh, power, of, of empires that try to um, eliminate them, but they just keep surviving no matter what? So at, in this cemetery at Newport, uh, Rhode Island here, the Jewish people, you know, those are that have been laid to rest. It's almost like Longfellow is saying like these people, uh, they're not alone. Although they're far away from the promised land, uh, you know, they they long for the promised land or they belong to the promised land. It's kind of like, you know, yes, the Jewish people have been scattered all over the earth, but their home is still their home in Israel. Um, so it's it's a lot to say about immigration in terms of deeper meaning of why, you know, why this poem was written or why this poem is important. It has a lot to say about immigration. Immigration, you know, the Jewish people that went to Rhode Island, uh, you know, at Newport or uh, in that region, they were running away from religious persecution or just people trying to eliminate them, trying to kill them. Um, and even in America today, there is anti-Semitism uh, that definitely exists. So no matter where Jewish people go, um, there's always like people that don't want them to survive. Um, you know, that, that's just, that's just always how it has been. 
Um, so this poem acknowledges that. This poem acknowledges that no matter what happens to them, they always survive. They're resilient. There's always a remnant. Um, and for me, I, I think it's kind of saying like God's always protecting them because there's always this this invisible force protecting the Jewish people because they're always making it through these horrible situations, these horrible um, circumstances that pretty much always seem to try to destroy them, but they never, uh, that just never happens. So fascinating poem. You can say it's about God, about faith, about resistance, resilience, um, and also immigration, because ultimately the Jewish people were fleeing their persecutors and people that were trying to eliminate them, and they just somehow survive and they come to this this new port, uh, and they have their own grave site, even though it's a small grave site. Uh, but um, but yeah, they keep surviving. They keep surviving, and even when they're dead and put into the ground, they keep surviving because they're not forgotten. Okay, they're not forgotten, and they're they're just a group of people that just you can't truly bury. Um, so this says a lot about their resilience. So that's the poem. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.